Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy YND back again with another video. Let's get into this. So my channel is called Young and Discipline. Okay, Young and Discipline guys. I want to talk more about the self-improvement and things like this. And I'm a, I, I do it a little differently than the other self-improvement gurus. I just can tell you guys what I think and what I think can help y'all. But just know that genuinely I care about every single one of you guys that watch my videos. And I want all y'all to be better men and the best men y'all can be and when you young bro this is the time to take advantage of setting your life in order when it comes to your discipline and your good habits so you can be the best you can be when you get older if you don't do it now it only gets harder to start when you get older and my older guys over here please be a testimonial to how hard it is to kick bad eating habits and emotional habits and tendencies with women and behaviors and all types of stuff right it's hard to do it so start when you're young so I want to talk about the purpose of self-improvement in dating because I think a lot of guys misunderstand the whole purpose of self-improvement and why I keep telling you guys to self-improve and stuff like this. So you're going to have two different types of guys that self-improvement is going to help. So the first guy, and I got my notes here, by the way, the first guy is this is going to be the guy who has little to no confidence and he's scared to even approach women. So if he do self-improvement, it's definitely going to help him, right? Now the second guy for whatever reason he naturally has more confidence than the first type of guy without really having to do that much self-improvement and he will improve he will approach women but he doesn't consistently get the type of women that he wants so self-improvement is going to help both of these guys but it's going to serve to a different type of purpose now there actually is a third type of guy i almost forgot and this is going to be the guy that has done his self-improvement he could attract the chicks that he won't but for whatever reason, he still lacks the game and the confidence and stuff like this to either approach or if he can approach, he don't know how to maintain the woman's interest level or keep her interest level high. So he loses her. Now, I want to make something real clear. If you watch my videos or you look at my channel, I got videos where I talked about self-improvement, the delusion, being exposed and all of this stuff, right? And I talked about fresh and fit and stuff like this. That video was mostly for guys in this third type of category, okay? I want y'all to understand that because in this third type of category, once you already did a self-improvement, this is where game becomes important, which is what I teach a lot on my channel, right? And game is, this is basically your game plan on how you approach the situation or your strategy with women to get the result that you want. So this is gonna go into your masculine frame, your seductive energy, checking women, passing their damn test, playing the mysterious card and the unavailable card and all of this different stuff, your mouthpiece, all of this shit, right? Before I really dive too far into the issue of the third guy, I kind of want to backtrack and I want to revisit the first guy and the second guy. So for the first guy, like I told you before, self-improvement is going to help him because this is the guy that has little to no confidence. He's scared to even approach women and shit like this. What self-improvement is going to do for him in dating is it's going to give him the confidence and the actual, you know, self-confidence, give him that swag and that entitlement to feel like he deserves whatever girl it is he want to approach so he can actually feel better about himself. So a lot of you guys, if you fat and overweight, you know, if you dress bad, if you smell bad, you got bad haircuts, right? All of these different things that can affect your self-esteem. Now, just so y'all know, all of these things may not affect you the same way as another guy. So there's guys over here that might not have that much money, but if he got a bad body, he'll feel like he ain't got no confidence. So some guys over here, y'all don't feel like you need money. I'm not telling you you need money. You got to look within yourself and figure out what you need to self-improve on to get the confidence. I don't really give a fuck what y'all do. I don't care if... You know, you got to put on a, a, a shirt that you like. And every time you wear that shirt, you feel fucking confident. Get like four or five of them type of shirts, get different colors and wear that motherfucker over and over again. I don't care if you need to get a new haircut. For some of you guys, you might have to do everything. Get your body right, improve your finances, get a better haircut, smell better, better fashion. You might need all of that. Some of you guys... You like, I ain't thinking about all that shit, nigga. I just need to do some push-ups and I'm good. I just need to get some more money and I'm good. Whatever it is, you got to figure it out so you can actually get girls. Now, another thing is this too. The self-improvement is only going to trick your mind into believing that you deserve this girl. So I want y'all to understand something too. For some of you guys, like I'm telling you right now, you might not actually need to do self-improvement 
to get that girl or approach that girl, but you believe it. So perception is reality. If you in your brain, you believe because I don't have enough money, I can't get this girl. Well, then you need to get your fucking money up so you can start getting these girls. Okay. And what you'll see over time, guys, is that once you had the money and you realize that girls don't even fucking know how much money you make off the off the jump or they don't even care or you end up losing women even when they know how much money you make. Eventually, you'll start to lose that whole insecurity entirely because you'll be like, damn, I, I lost these girls and I have this money. Clearly, it don't mean as much as I thought, but that's how it starts. And I understand that. So for a lot of you guys, you need to do that self-improvement so you can feel better about yourself. Now, let's go into the second guy. What is the purpose for self-improvement for the second guy? Now, remember, the second guy was the guy that's more naturally confident right? Without doing the self-improvement, but he does not consistently get the type of women that he wants. For this guy, he needs to self-improve because it's going to make him more attractive and more high value in the eyes of other women, which therefore he going to attract more quality type of chicks. So it's kind of like a balance, guys. Perception is reality, but then at the same time, what reality is influences your perception. It's like a, it's like a feed loop type of thing, right? It's like a back and forth. So yes, if you broke and you and you unattractive and you short. There's a guy right now that's all three of these, right? Even though I made the pick a struggle video where I said, my nigga, pick a struggle. You can't be fucked up in every area. There's a guy right now who's down bad in a lot of areas. But for some reason, whether it was just his mama telling him he looked good his whole life, how his family brought him up, maybe he just make decent money, maybe he just, you know, he he always been good at, you know, achieving things. I don't fucking know, right? Or he taught himself another language, so now he feel like I'm so fucking smart. I don't know. Maybe he got a mental disorder. Who the fuck knows? But this guy, for whatever reason, he believes that he can go up to women and talk to them. So he will. Now, what will happen is he's going to look up and end up, you know, if you play the numbers game enough, because I tell you guys, it's a fucking numbers game. You'll get some bad chicks. You'll get some real attractive chicks. And what's going to happen is you'll get these real bad girls, but you'll lose them because even though, you know what I'm saying, you feel better about yourself. Right. At the end of the day, if this girl needs a guy that makes X, Y, Z amount of money, you don't make it. I mean, there ain't really much you can do. Right. She might, you know, go along with it for a little bit. But if you don't come up, you don't come up. She going to move on. And she like guys that have a certain type of body, even though you might approach her and she might feel like you're really confident, but you ain't in shape like she won't. This shit, there ain't really much you can do. So this is where self-improvement is going to help this guy. Because if you get your body right, you get your finances up, you fix, you know, you work on your mental health and your, your, your emotions and, you know, you get your discipline right now, all this different shit that I teach you guys. This shit is going to make you just be more attractive in general to women. Okay. That's it though. I just want you to understand that is it. That is the cutoff for the thing for self-improvement. And that's going to lead me to the third guy. Okay. Now, this guy is more neglected on YouTube, right? In a, in a, in a, a self improvement guru data space, and it's because for the majority of men that do the self improvement, right? The first two types of guys, usually that gives them the confidence and the abundance mindset and the swag and the arrogance that they need to be better with women. But for this third guy, it does not. So this is the guy that does all of this stuff, right? Uh, he does the self-improvement. He can get those type of women that he wants, right? But he still don't have the confidence in himself or he still don't have the game and shit like this. Or he might approach and he get numbers or he get women, but he just can't keep them, okay? He cannot keep them or maintain the high interest. Now, the solution for this guy is going to be purpose. Now, I think all you guys got to get on your purpose, whether you're the first or the second guy. But I find that a guy like this that did all the self-improvement, when I say self-improvement, I'm just talking about getting his body right, looking better and all of this shit and get his money up. But maybe he got his money up through a means of just a regular job that he not that passionate about, right? He might've got his degree or something, but if it, purpose is supposed to be your passion, guys, something that fucking fuels you and you obsess with it and it gives meaning to your life. It fills the void in your life. So usually what I find with this third guy is he did all the self-improvement. He can get women and all of this shit. But when it comes to what he feel about himself on like that inner core, deep level, he's still trying to use women to fill a void in his life. And you can't use women for that, guys. Women's supposed to be an addition to your life. Your purpose is supposed to fill that void, okay? And this is what's going to give you that abundance mindset because you're going to be so much on your grind and working hard and shit. This guy has options, right? That's why he can get other women. But the reason why he keep fucking up with women is because 
eventually over time, somewhere along the line, he starts to give off that needy energy. He starts to break on his frame and fuck up in his game. And it's because he's trying to use women to fill the void in his life. So this is some, this is a lot of you guys and you guys are neglected and you guys are neglected. And that's another reason I made my channel. I made my channel for several reasons, but for one reason is because I saw a lot of you guys are neglected in this space because that's why I said in that fresh and fit video where I was talking about the self-improvement delusion, I saw this nigga fresh. He was talking to a guy and the guy told him that basically, you know, he got his money up. He had his degree and all this different shit. And he like, man, I, and I'm getting women now. I got my body right, but I'm still fucking up. And fresh is uh, self-improvement, self-improvement. And I'm like, bro, no, this nigga needs purpose. And I'm not saying they don't know about purpose, but I'm saying he didn't, he, in that moment, it didn't register to fresh to, to give him this answer so he can, and this application so the guy can actually apply it in his life. Do y'all see what I'm saying? And it's because a lot of guys are just fixed off of the self-improvement side. But the purpose side is a, is a must because purpose is different than just having a good job and getting a skill, education, or a trade or making a lot of money. This is what you're passionate about. It fills the void. You feel very complete on the daily as a man. Do y'all see? This is how you feel like that without a woman. Okay. And then it makes it easy for you guys to have the game, have your game, to be mysterious, to be unavailable, to be busy and all of this different shit because of the fact that you got your purpose now. Okay. Now there is a fourth type of guy. Okay. And I didn't want to mention him until now. This is a motherfucker that's helpless. Okay. This guy, you can't fucking help him with shit. He get purpose, passion, self-improvement. Woe is me type of crime, motherfucker. Hey, I can't do nothing to help you, bro. If you're one of them people, you know, you just feel fucking sorry for yourself all the time, no matter what I say, then I can't do nothing. It's up to you guys to figure out which one of these guys are you. Are you number one, two, three, or four? Are you the guy that has no fucking confidence at all that you need to do the basic self-improvement? Are you a guy that has natural confidence, you know, but you ain't getting the consistent quality type of girls that you want? Then you need to do self-improvement so you could just be more attractive to these type of women and be more valuable and be more of a catch so they stick around longer and you get the shit that you want, right? Now, if you're the third guy, you did all of this shit and you still don't feel like you that guy. You still don't feel you know, you can't keep your game and you don't keep that swag and shit. You need to find purpose. Now, the first two guys, y'all need to have y'all purpose too. But what I'm saying is for some of you guys, the, the self-improvement is going to be enough, right? When it comes to women. Now, you still might, you know, want more shit in life. But with women, you might be okay. But for this type of guy, this guy's going to need to get on his purpose and get on his grind and find his passion and true meaning in life because you try to use women to feel that boy and you just can't do that. All right. And I try to throw different solutions. See guys, as a dating coach, it's my job. And as a life coach, I'm trying to give you guys different solutions. I can't just say self-improvement, self-improvement, or just do this or just do that. This shit ain't a one size fits all. Okay. And I think a lot of dating coaches and these guys, they don't fucking understand that. I understand that not every guy is the same. There's different types of guys. You in a different place than me. I'm in a different place than you mentally and in my life. The guys in the comments, when y'all talking to one another, y'all got to understand people is at a different place. Not everybody is you. And as a coach, it's my job. If you're trying to get to where my mindset is and being abundant and, uh, you know, not giving a fuck and attracting more women and being more successful or being good in the business world, then I, I have to be able to assess your situation from where you at and try to give you guys solutions to get there. Do y'all see what I'm saying? And that's what I try to do on my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, join the Discord. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.